Tenir réplica de Master PC Pod need some fixes. I didn't experience any big issues myself, apart from seeing that the protagonist was moving way faster than I remembered on the original game. Why is this happening, you might wonder? This is happening because the game's speed is tied to the frame rate, and is easily fixed by capping the frame rate at 60 FPS. To fix this, we are going to use a special K. You might remember this tool if you played Nier Automata on PC. It's the same tool developed by Kaldayan that went by the name of Far Mod for Automata. I will leave a link in the video description. You will need to extract this directly into the game's folder, where you can find the executable file. The file that I linked will automatically set the best settings by default that fixes the game as best as possible as of that particular version. You can also use Special K to fix other problems, like hiding the mouse cursor when using a controller, fix abnormal frame rate caps on high refresh rate monitors, and turning off the PS4 controller double input. In case you're still running into problems, I will still describe how to do this manually. So let's get started. After you extract Special K in the game's folder and you boot the game, you should see a new prompt at the top. You can now press Ctrl, Shift and Backspace to access the control panel while in game. Once you do so, you will see a long list of different options. Here you will want to use the frame rate limited option. It will be set at 60 FPS by default, and it should be enabled in the file tray link, but if it's not, make sure it is by ticking the option. To hide the mouse cursor when using a controller, you will want to navigate to Input Management, Mouse Cursor, and tick Hide when not moved. To turn off the PS4 controller's double input in this same menu on the gamepad, you will want to tick the Disable the PS4 Hit Input option. There are still other fixes that you can apply outside of Special K2. If you are suffering from low frame rate or stuttering when using a controller, right click the game in your library, select Properties, navigate to Controller, and change the override setting to Disable Steam Input. A fix for inconsistent controller support is to disable support for that controller in Steam, Settings, Controller, and General Controller Settings. This should cover most of the issues many people find at the moment when the game just launched. Bear in mind that this might get patched in the future. If you're still having issues, please leave a comment below or show my Discord server and I will try to help. Anyways. Hopefully this will help you troubleshoot any problems and you will be able to enjoy this wonderful game now. Have a good day.